I'm Mr. Jellybean. Hi, Mr. Jellybean. I'm Morty. Jelly beans aren't just for Easter anymore. The sweet little candies are beloved by kids and adults alike. Popular brands like Jelly Belly, with its dozens of exotic flavors, have helped make them an enduring hit. However, you may know less about the colorful little candy beans than you think. So let's grab a handful of 10 jelly bean facts that will surprise candy lovers. You'd be surprised. A matter of taste. I think it tastes delicious. Everyone has a favorite flavor of jelly bean, whether it's cherry, licorice, or orange. There are some generational differences that show up in the rankings, with older adults preferring buttered popcorn and coconut. Kids, on the other hand, vote for flavors like berry, green apple, and watermelon. With so many flavors, this seems like an odd choice. But then again, there's no accounting for taste. Jelly beans are popular around the world, and different parts of the world have their own jelly bean favorites. For example, South America. America enjoys cherry flavor, while Asia prefers refreshing lemon lime. It's very refreshing! Australia likes to go its own way, so the Aussies say they like bubblegum flavored jelly beans. Apparently, Europe likes to show off their sophisticated palates because they indulge in the multi flavored jelly beans called Tutti Frutti. This choice seems like a little bit of a cop out because you could probably get the same effect if you put a handful of different flavored jelly beans in your mouth all at once. I mean, we all do that, don't we? Whether you eat raspberry jelly beans one at a time or mix a dozen flavors together, the sweet treats continue to please snackers around the world. Let's all go to the movies. I'm just gonna go watch a movie. Americans don't always agree on everything, so it should come as no surprise that they don't agree on what the best jelly bean flavors are. Different parts of the country prefer different flavors than other parts. Another fact to take note of is that people's and countries' tastes change, and the favorite flavors have changed over time to reflect this fact. Cherry has been ranked as America's favorite jelly bean, and perhaps surprisingly, so has black licorice. Black licorice is one of those flavors that you either love or hate. One survey of America's tastes in 2017 that showed the American preference for buttered popcorn as their top jelly bean flavor still had black licorice come in strong at number two. The top five were rounded out with the following flavors. Cinnamon, cherry, and watermelon. Ooh, watermelon! Apparently, jelly bean lovers respond to the combination of sweet and salty goodness that buttered popcorn offers the taste buds. There could be a nostalgia aspect as well, because many people grow Grow up with fond memories of going to the movies and enjoying big buckets of buttery popcorn as part of the movie-going experience. But whatever the reason for this choice, buttered popcorn is America's most popular jelly bean flavor for now. Popcorn? Where do you think you are? Taste the controversy. It tastes good. Although it's unclear how official these designations are, at least by some criteria, Skittles brand candies are, in fact, jelly beans. Skittles brand fruit candies have long been a popular choice for kids looking for something other than chocolate candy bars. But they probably didn't know about this candy controversy. Experience the Rainbow, Taste the Rainbow has been part of a successful marketing campaign for the candy, but it offers no clues of how they compare to jelly beans. This marketing highlights the candy's colorful fruit flavors that includes flavors like orange, lemon, lime, and grape. You guys look like two seals fighting over a grape. The official Skittles website does not address the issue of whether or not the candies are, in fact, jelly beans. The Oxford Dictionary definition of jelly beans is a bean-shaped candy with a gelatinous center and a firm sugar coating. Working from this definition, it appears that Skittles fit the description of a classic jelly bean. It's a very, very interesting theory. Tis the season to be jelly. Jelly sweet. Back in the 1930s, someone noticed that jelly beans resemble little eggs, and so began the Sweet Treats Association with Easter. Today, it would be hard to imagine an Easter basket full of candy that doesn't include a generous helping of colorful jelly beans. Jelly beans are as much a part of the Easter candy experience as chocolate rabbits. This wasn't always the case, however. For decades, the little candies were most associated with Christmas. This isn't too surprising since Christmas is the candy of festive candy. Even with candy canes, chocolate coins, and other traditional favorites, there is plenty of room for Christmas-themed jelly beans. Christmas is awesome. 
Companies like Jelly Belly have recognized the holidays are a great opportunity and have come up with specialty Christmas jelly beans developed around classic holiday themes. Obviously, colors like red and green are clear choices for Christmas jelly beans, but candy fans will probably agree that any colorful combination of jelly beans will work just fine for a tasty gift. Maybe we should be putting out a bowl of jelly beans for Santa Claus instead of milk and cookies. It couldn't hurt. It couldn't hurt. Not suitable for consumption. Don't eat that! Language changes over time, like tastes. Slang might become accepted into everyday conversation, or perhaps disappear altogether. In the early decades of the 20th century, if you said jelly bean, you were likely not referring to these small, colorful candies. During this era, you might have been a concerned parent or friend warning a young woman about the low character of a young man she had expressed interest in. Jelly bean was slang for a slick-dressed young man who wanted to impress young women with his style, but usually had no substance underneath. All flash and no substance. The origins of this slang term remain unclear, but perhaps these flashy men became associated with jelly beans because of their bright candy colors and their sugary sweetness. The unfortunate association has faded away, and by the middle of the century, a jelly bean was a sweet little candy that filled Christmas stockings and Easter baskets for children. Unfortunately, more recently, Jelly bean has become a slang term in some circles to refer to a couple of different kinds of illegal drugs. But for most of us, jelly beans are still just those small, colorful candies we love to eat by the handful. Awesome. The jelly bean gets its due. That's awesome! <laughs> April 22nd is National Jelly Bean Day. Is it a coincidence that it falls around Easter when there are plenty of jelly beans to be had? It doesn't matter, because any time is a good time to celebrate the sweet little candies with the colorful shells. Jelly beans are made mostly from basic ingredients like sugar and corn syrup. But these simple little confections have loomed large for American kids of all ages since they first appeared in America. They showed up in their rudimentary form around the time of the Civil War. Mmm, interesting. To celebrate this National Jelly Bean Day, lovers of the sweet candy are encouraged to use jelly beans in a wide range of delicious recipes, including in cookies, fudge, and yes, even drink recipes. When you've had your fill of the candy, you can still celebrate with the classic jelly bean game, guess how many jelly beans are in the jar. What does the winner of the contest get? The awesome jar of jelly beans, of course. You may or may not realize that April 22nd is also Earth Day, which is great, but National Jelly Bean Day is much tastier. Ah, tasty. Good things come to those who wait. I hate waiting. The colorful little candy known as the jelly bean may seem to be a simple thing that is easy to produce, but nothing could be further from the truth. Jelly beans are such a popular candy, and millions of the tasty beans are produced around the world every day. This is a lot of jelly beans, but they are consumed almost as fast by a hungry public who can't seem to get enough. It takes even more work than you might imagine to produce this huge number, because it takes at least a week to make them. In fact, it can take up to three weeks. What? This simple recipe consists of sugar, corn syrup, corn starch, and water. This mixture is cooked slowly until it has a gelatinous consistency, and then the batch is poured into tiny bean-shaped molds, where they rest for at least 12 hours so they can harden. After they cool and harden, they are sprayed with a sugary mist, then they rest again so they can harden once more. You might have guessed by now that much of the reason the process takes so long is that the jelly beans have to rest for a while between many of the steps. It depends a lot on the flavor of jelly bean being manufactured. Some flavors require several days of rest between steps. Flavors such as sour cherry and sour apple tend to take the longest to make because they need to rest the most because of their unique composition. But regardless of your personal favorite jelly bean, perhaps you will have a bit more respect for what it takes to get these sweet little treats to your lips. Have some respect. The Jelly Bean Origin Story. You guys, do you feel this? 
our origin story begins. It seems that the exact origins of the sweet little candies known as jelly beans has been lost to the sugary mists of time. However, most candy historians believe there is some evidence that the popular American candy owes its existence to a popular candy from Turkey called Turkish Delight. This sweet confection traces its long history back to before biblical times. It's true that jelly beans have a sweet, gelatinous center that is similar to Turkish Delight, but the bright little candies might owe their hard candy shells to another candy. Jordan almonds were invented in 17th century France for the royal court. These Jordan almonds are for the feminists. Their hard candy shell is made by a manufacturing process called panning that French candy makers invented. This process involved rocking the almonds back and forth in a pan filled with sugar and water. Candy made by this process first appeared in America in 1861, early in the American Civil War. A company in Boston, Massachusetts circulated advertisements around the city encouraging people to send a candy that was similar to what would become jelly beans to the troops. But when did the name jelly bean show up? Shaping candy like common fruits and vegetables was common in 18th and 19th centuries. An unknown candy maker in the 1800s started making little bean-shaped candies, and the rest is sweet history. This is history, Brian, a key moment in the history of happiness. Incredible, inedible jelly beans. It's inedible. Food is supposed to be edible. Some of us might think that butter-flavored popcorn jelly beans are pretty unappetizing, but it has been ranked as one of America's favorite flavors. Some beer lovers might like the taste of beer-flavored jelly beans, and those are at least not outright disgusting like some other flavors. However, most of us can agree that vomit-flavored jelly beans are a bad idea. Some other jelly bean flavors that should fall into the bad idea category include such temperature treats as earthworm and booger. One can assume that flavors like this are marketed towards kids who enjoy grossing each other out. These are not flavors that your casual jelly bean eater would want to snack on. It's gotta be no, dog. Booger flavor is bad, and earwax and lawn clippings flavored jelly beans don't sound much better. Why would someone want to eat candy that tastes like ear secretions and lawn clippings? Hopefully, jelly bean lovers will stick with the favorites like like cherry, lime, and yes, even buttered popcorn. Is that butter popcorn? <sighs> yeah, it is. Win one for the jelly bean. Ronald Reagan is known for some impressive accomplishments, including a successful Hollywood acting career, governing California, and two terms as President of the United States during the Cold War against the Soviet Union. But the former president is also known for his tremendous love of jelly beans. His brand was Jelly Belly, and the sweet little candies helped him kick his longtime smoking habit when he was governor of California. Since that time, Reagan could usually be seen with a bowl of jelly beans within arm's reach. When he was elected president, he brought his love of jelly beans to Washington with him. Ronald Reagan. The actor? Jelly beans remained a feature of President Reagan's two terms in Washington, D.C., and bowls and jars of the sweet candies can be seen in many old photographs within Reagan's reach. They were available at the White House and even on Air Force One when he flew around the world to meet other national leaders. President Reagan would often give these visiting leaders a supply of jelly beans as gifts because, after all, who doesn't like a handful of tasty jelly beans? Hopefully, these sugary little gems made their own small but sweet contribution to the Cold War and the advancement of world peace. To world peace. World peace. Help yourself to more and tap that screen for our next great video. Checking us out for the first time? Then take a second to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.